So, today we're solving assignment 10.26. A fixed quantity of gas at 25 degrees Celsius exceeds a pressure of 99 kilopascals and occupies a volume of 4 liters. A. Calculate the volume the gas will occupy if the pressure is increased to 2 atms while the temperature is held constant. B. Calculate the volume the gas will occupy if the temperature is, in is increased to 100 degrees Celsius while the pressure is held constant. So, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to transform this from um, degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Because in this kind of exercise, we always gotta use Kelvin. That's the standard unit. So that's approximately 298.5 Kelvin. And I'm also going to write the other information we've got. Pressure is equal 99 kilopascals. And the volume is equal to 4 liters. So, A, we have 2 ATMs. And ATMs it's a, is another type of unit for pressure. So we also, we also got to convert it to Pascals so that we have consistency in the equation. So 2 ATMs are equal to um, 202.65 kilopascals. So we have a pressure increase in this exercise and we have to calculate the value, the ratio in which the pressure is increased. So we have 202.65 um, divided by 99, which is the original pressure that we had. So we have that pressure is 2.04 times bigger than the or original pressure of our gas. Um, so we are going to use one of the ideal gas laws. We assume that, th that this gas is ideal. So we are going to use the Boyle's law, which states very cl clearly that pressure 1 times volume, volume 1 is equal to pressure 2 times volume 2. So what we are looking for is volume 2, right? So we just transform the equation so as to have volume 2 as our incognito. So, in the end, we have P1, B1, um, divided by pressure 2. That gives us the volume 2, which is the volume that our gas will um, have in this um, different pressure, 2 atms or 202 0.65 kilopascal. So when we replace the values, we have 1 times 4 divided through 2.04, and that gives us 1.96 liters. That's our end volume for our, our the ideal gas. So in part B, we have um, a constant pressure, which is also called isobar, for uh, iso equal and bar pressure. And in this case, we are going to use the combined gas law. And this law states, it's actually very similar to Boyle's law, it just includes the temperature in this case. 
So we have P1, B1 divided by T1 is equal to P2, I'm sorry, 2, T2 divided by, uh, I'm sorry, V2, that is a V, divided by T2. So, um, since pressure is constant, since pressure is constant, we can just simply cross it off. We can cross it off. Off, sorry, two s. Um, so when we cross off um, the pressure, we get B1 times T2 divided by T1 gives us B2, which is in this case also the volume we're looking for. So, when we replace the values, we have 4.00 liters times 373.5 Kelvin, um, which is, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't convert it before. But we have um, that the temperature 2 is equal to um, 100 degrees Celsius. And we, when we convert that to Kelvin, we obtain 373.5 um, Kelvin divided by temperature 1, which is 298.5 Kelvin, which we have from... Um, from the beginning of the exercise here so um, that's right and then we get that our volume 2 our volume 2 is equal to 5.01 liters so that's the volume it, our gas will occupy um, when the temperature is increased so we can see the relation here, we see that when the temperature is increased, the gas volume is also increased. But when our pressure increases, the volume decreases. So that means that when the temperature is bigger, as, as it increases, our gas will get um, um, compressed. So the volume will naturally get um, smaller. But here, as the temperature grows bigger, the gas will slowly delay and the volume will get bigger. So that's it.